Anastasia 30 Anastasia machine. This is the basic model. It is having only one mode that is volume control mode. So first, this is the on off switch. This is the bellow assembly. This is the canister. This is the backbone switch. These two are the check valves. This is the APL valve. Then this is the expiratory flow sensor. Without this sensor, tidal volume readings will not come on the screen. So you have to be very careful with this. It should be placed like this itself. This is the sensor and this is the connector. This arrow mark should be towards the machine. Then connect it over here. How to remove this canister? Here is one lock over here. Press and this canister will come out. On the machine. Whenever you on the machine, it will ask for leak test and normal application. So you have to go through the leak test. Press OK. Close flow meter flow to zero. So check this is in zero position. Then connect the white piece to upload cone. This is the upload cone. This is the white piece. Upload it over here. Turn backbend switch, uh, switch to vent. So this is the back symbol and this is the vent symbol. Turn it to vent. Now next press the O2 flush button to fill the bellows. This is the O2 flush button. Press bellows will get filled. Once filled, press the start button to start. Leak test. So now leak test passed. Here you can see that the leak value should be less than 250 ml. So now the leak value is 60 ml. So it got passed. Press OK. So now whenever you on it, this will be the screen which appear on the screen. If you want to change any setting, go to tidal volume, increase, decrease, set, go to rate, increase, decrease, set. So in this way you can set the parameters. Go to menu, here you can set the upper and lower limit, minimum and maximum. Then. 21% O2 calibration and 100% O2 calibration can be done from here. Any other settings go to setup. Basic settings you can do over here. For example, screen brightness, contrast, etc. If you want to go back, return. Then OK. Once you set the parameters, remove the YPs from occlusion and connect the patient. There is no specific start ventilation button in this anesthesia machine. So if you want to start the ventilation, you have to just move it to vent mode. So ventilation will start automatically. If in case this button is already in vent mode and your ventilation has not been started. So for that, go to back and switch it back to vent. Then it will start up. So here you can see. VCV mode. So it contains only one mode, VCV, volume control. This is the alarm mute button and this is the end case button. This will work in bag mode. If it is in bag mode and you want to put it in standby, so press control knob to confirm the end case. For auto calibration, you have to go in service mode. So first, keep pressed this rotary knob and then on the machine. So it will ask for service mode. Go to service mode. Now in this, go to auto cell. Press the knob to go to service mode. Start 21. 
percent auto calibration remove the breathing circuit press this lock and fold it over here and fold Inside this is the O2 sensor. This is the attachment which can be removed from the plier. Whenever you uh, remove the breathing circuit, O2 sensor automatically gets exposed to air. So no need to remove O2 sensor for 21% auto calibration. Then be sure the connection of O2 cell is okay. Expose the O2 cell in ambient air. Wait 5 minutes to ensure O2 concentration is stable. Select and start O21%. So start. completed now go to 100% connect the breathing system back so for connecting match this with this insert place back soda line connection connect the patient circuit and upload the wires percent o2 to ensure the breathing system is full of 100% o2 make this full select and start o2 percent calibration so current o2 should be 100% once it reaches 100% start 100% So for 100% O2 calibration, breathing circuit has been connected, uh, Y piece has been connected, and it has been blocked. Now check this status that this should be also 100. Once it is 100, press start.